All right, without further ado, the racers are all readied up for you guys. This is going to be some good races here today. I'm excited to see what's going to happen. Obviously, Cards is going to be the favorite into this, and he's looking to remain perfect in this group so far to clinch a first seed from his group. For sure, for sure. Uh, as we mentioned earlier, he's already secured a spot for the main bracket. But again, as mentioned before, Tay could still grab a nice possibility for the wild card. So we'll definitely see how he plays today. Right. looks like Tay so far. Oh, he had a pretty good follow-up that stacked very nicely on his side. So he's going to be finishing about even with cards right now in 25 seconds. Cards had to wait for that very, very long clear animation. But basically what we expected from the beginning here, a little bit of a lack of two troll on both ends. And, you know, a little bit of time wasted, but still tied. It's definitely looking good. Neither one was really trolled too terribly hard by lack of two. Uh, Card's looking like he's got a really nice lag chain going here on Bumpty, though. Yeah, and just like that, we might have a little bit of technical issues on his end as well. It isn't. Yeah. Uh, it isn't a puzzle general stream today, I guess, if we don't have a little bit of connection issues, because we had a uh, <laughs> Discord's acting up a little bit right now too in terms of the uh, uh, connectivity. So. We'll wait to yeah. see if Card's feed comes back and we'll bring that up for you guys. I apologize. But. Yeah. Oh, I'm, I'm sure he's there. still going uh, offline. And we'll keep you going in the race channel and the Puzzle General Discord for you. Yeah, but we basically know how cards is going to be playing because like i mentioned he's one of the more consistent players he's done a lot of research to know like exactly the garbage scenarios you need for each one of the players so we can typically guess where he's at right now and we'll just base it off of how tay man's playing with the 28 second they're probably still both pretty even right now uh if cards has been yeah. on his game though i could see him being a little bit far ahead right now yeah, uh, welcome to the uh, Week 5 Group B match of uh, Tay Man versus Theory Crafting Cards of the Heart. <laughs> mm -hmm. Where we, uh, we, we predict where he is. Tay Man had that 5 combo set up, but unfortunately doesn't want to go for it. Gets that nice 8 combo follow up at the end here. But he's kind of making clears a little bit too fast here, so that's going to give uh, Wiggler a lot of time to make clears. This is for sure going to kill now, but if he would have maybe dropped that a little bit quicker, he could have got a uh, nice kill. 27 seconds, not bad at all. But you got to imagine Cards is probably already on stage 5 at this point. like Tay's thrown in some uh, very nice combos here with his chains. Definitely something you want to see for these early game opponents. Make sure you top them up as quick. The early game AI tends to not look for chains. They just kind of luck into them from clearing garbage. And so it's nice to be able to top them off. That way they run out of stop time faster. Tay's been hitting a good quota right now. His follow-ups have been on point. I think he's been uh, a little bit low on the initial garbage output. He's usually been cutting it off at a 4 or 5 with just not too many combos mixed in. We're going to see this 5 here. This is going to be plenty this time. So, Figures as soon as I call him out a little bit, he's going to shut me up here. <laughs> but yeah, Blark... he's definitely got more than enough here. Going to want to drop that combo garbage though. Yeah, Blarg instead wants Tayman to send even more to him as he had barely any panels on his screen. He will get the follow-up here once Blarg eventually just stops. But uh, 36 seconds, 37 seconds, even more now with that clear. 
this is gonna be rough and uh, cards I'm sure is going to be almost always sub six at the most for Blarg even so he's more consistent at the five or five and a half minute mark so Tame Man probably down by a little bit of stages here he needs to pull out some magic and get closer to that 20 second rage in a caliber of the this matchup looks like we will have cards feedback pretty shortly here Oh, going to be having a bit of a tall stack on the left side there, and he's going to take an unfortunate death here to lunch, but it's giving cards about a two-stage lead here going into the cave of Wick 520, 530. Yeah, definitely what I was thinking in this matchup. I'm like, cards, at the most, you'll only see him get to like six minutes on Raphael because his beginning game is just that consistent. But he hit about that five and a half minute quota that I was thinking. And now with his feedback, yeah, we've seen a two-stage lead right now. Tayman going to need to dig deep because Cards doesn't slow down here. Even though the cave can get to people, Cards has some pretty good uh, follow-ups here. He's going to wait for this clear on Hook Bill. Taking a really nice uh, comeback uh, force kill there, though, on Lungefish with a 27. Making up a little bit of time, but that death was still very unfortunate. He's still going to be about two stages behind cards. Yeah, for sure. Uh, Raphael about six and a half minutes in. And he's still got a little bit of work to go here because he was very low on panels himself. This is a tough spot for Tame Man. He's going to have to hope for some trolls here later for cards, but cards probably has the textbook send here. And yeah, there is no stop time on Nabal. 13 yeah. seconds, matched by Tame Man's 27, which was a pretty good stage too. But look at this, man. man. It is a full two-stage lead right now. Cards with only two more to go, and Tame Man with the whole cave. This is looking rough as cards is on pace for a very good eight-minute time here. Oh, yeah, absolutely. I'm I'm definitely excited to see him follow a possible sub nine here. Got all those bad runs from earlier out of the way. S saved it for the match. Oh, we might have ISP issues striking again here on cards. Uh oh. But at least we have a, a good knowledge of where he was at now. He had a really good start on Kamek there. Tame Man with the 44 seconds on Hook Bill. So we'll update you guys when we see uh, something pop up in chat here. Because Cards is most likely on Bowser right now. We could still have a pretty long Bowser uh, troll on Cards end. So let's see what Tame Man can do here at the end. All you got to do is rattle off you know, a couple 15 second victories here and there. It's a tall order, but it's definitely yeah. possible for Tame Man. Goes for the long setup to get that 8 combo. That's going to be a good starter. But unfortunately, when you take a little bit too much time like that on the cave opponents, it does give them some time to clear panels. Most of the time, if you want to elect to be aggressive, you got to start it at the very beginning or else uh, you'll see like what Kamek did. Did a lot of clears at the beginning, and now Tayman just has those couple of combos left at the top. And it looks like Kamek has the potential to clear even more. And when you do start clearing small combo garbage blocks like this, this gives uh, a lot of options for uh, Naval and some shake time possibly. But that middle tower in the m is going to help, but a chain falls anyways. Yeah, pretty unfortunate for Tay Man at this point in time. And it's looking like it's all but over right now. But Cards is not dot done in the uh, chat yet. So, who knows? This Bowser sounds like it's going to be giving him a lot of trouble. Well, actually, yeah, he... Def 
He's probably not connected to Discord. I didn't even think about that. <laughs> so who knows well, at this he, point? He, he did just stop done with a 947, according to RaceBot. So uh, GG to cards on this first match, I guess. Yeah, it was actually a 914. That's what he said offline, because he probably couldn't yeah. connect to Discord either. But yeah, that's pretty much what I expected there. Uh, Bowser probably just gave him a little bit of a troll, but hitting that low nine minute mark is what you're gonna see a lot of these top competitors do. And Absolutely. you know, he played really consistent. You never really see cards drop too many chains or combos. And so at the most, that's the times you're going to see because it just makes up for the RNG factor. Back up once again. We'll take a look at his credits while Tay Man's finishing out the latter half of this run. Good old ISP, man. Good old ISP. Yeah, thankfully, Karts was uh, recording offline, so we at least have. That. That, at the very least. Yeah, for sure. And like we mentioned before, this the wins and losses don't really matter too much on this match. It'd be nice to pad a couple wins on either player's stats, but it's all about the times at this point. Cards has his spot locked in, probably just wants to make his stuff look a little bit better too, but it's important for Tay Man. This is his last match of the bracket and there are people ahead of him who have already been eliminated specifically flaggle stand is the big one that stands out in my mind and so far this time is not something that's pretty good to make that average time of course there's always the set of three races at the end but i think he definitely want to try to punch his ticket in before that so he didn't have to rely on it But he will be finishing like, it out right then and there. He gets, I think it's like a 12-16 by the late split I that I saw. Want to try to punch his and now I hear myself, so... so. Rely on it. <laughs> so we're going to uh, start up this next race pretty soon. It's going to be a pretty big tech issue kind of day I like. Those are my favorite to deal with. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> but it's all right. It makes a different experience and keeps me on my toes at the same time. Yeah, for sure. But yeah, just like that, cards uh, will be taking that first round there. Hopefully we'll have some more consistent uh, feeds in for the second round here. But uh, I'm looking forward to it. Looks like Tay Man uh, using this as a little bit of a warm-up game. Just needs to uh, find a little bit more of those chains and combos. I think he just needed to extend them out by probably one or two more. Because there's just a couple lines that I saw most of the time. And... Uh, if he irons that out, he has a pretty good shot at winning this match. And as a person who likes upsets, I I'd like to see that, even though uh, obviously Cards and Tay are both my friends. But we'll at least cheer yeah, for the for game sure. three, at the least. <laughs> right. <laughs> of course. Um, speaking of uh, upsets, uh, while we're waiting for this next match to start, have there been any particular upsets that you've been happy to see this, this tournament this... so far? Uh, there have been quite a few that have just made things pretty interesting, but just a lot of like the unexpected stuff. Like The biggest one that stands out in my mind was uh, 
Thea Gotch versus Devolution Derby. That was one that was totally yeah. unexpected to me, but he managed to pull that out. But there's potential for maybe another happening here, and we're getting into the second game right now. Alright, Card's looking like he's got a nice textbook combo chain going, combo with four chain going here. Lakitu's unfortunately going to fight a clear because he's got a bit of a low, painfully low stack there. But they're both going to be leaping Lakitu around the same time again. Yeah, I don't know if those were the I exact time same times as last round. It was either like a 26 and a 25 or another 27 and 26. So some deja vu there either way. Yeah. Yeah, good old Discord is striking us right now. I, it's not a, a connection issue on either of our ends. I think Discord servers are just struggling right now. So... <laughs> Sorry for the yeah. connections, but look at this. Now we got one second in between both the competitors <laughs> again. Crazy. See, they're looking to repeat a little bit of that action again, but Tayman a little bit late on his chain. And Cards has a very quick follow-up, so this clear is going to start early on Poochie. He gets that chain, but Cards is most likely going to get this kill here as he's down stacking. So, Cards may be taking the first decisive lead of this match, but look at that. Tayman responds back. Three seconds is our biggest gap right now. That's how neck and neck both of these guys are. Yeah, D Tayman definitely looking a lot better than last game. Definitely looking to get a little bit of revenge. The main difference here is, though, card startups have been so much quicker on his side, which can be very beneficial for him. Look at this. Even with the uh, three rows of panels that Wiggler had here, his combos were, uh, like, so dominant that he managed to get this 16-second kill. And it took a little bit for Tayman to have that startup. So now when everything falls into place right here, it's going to uh, get him a little bit longer of a time. And it's consistent because he usually hits around that 30 second mark unless he gets chains from Wiggler like that. But yeah, that's how Cards ends up taking this lead slowly but surely because he cuts off, you know, 5 to 10 seconds almost each stage, if not going even. Now we got cards, uh, he had a little bit of a troll himself there in Froggy, almost had a kill where there was absolutely no garbage on the screen. 35 seconds gives Tay a little bit of a break after that uh, long Wiggler fight here. Let's see if he can get something going. Has that 4 chain with some combos popping up on top. This could be enough as Froggy was going for the bottom of his panel, so big break there for Tay, man. He's making up a lot of ground here. Cards gets those last couple garbage blocks, but he was actually a little bit short that time. He almost had it planned yeah, out, but Blarg just got a stack down in just enough time to get it. And just as I say that, looks like the connection issues are striking once again. Uh, oh no. That is unfortunate. At, at least we know he's, he's recording these. At, at least there's that. Yeah, for sure. Obviously, nothing we can do about it at the situation, but yeah, we'll always be able to look on these at a at a different time, and plus, we can always imagine in our mind what's uh, going on on each other's side, but he his Blark fight was going a little bit long there. He probably did finish it a little bit still before Tayman, but I think they're pretty much tied at this point in time, because Cards just had a little bit of a, some long stages here from the beginning.
you're just, hey, looking to get this follow kill. No chains fell in place, so 27, that's pretty good on lunge fish. Uh, still hanging in here pretty evenly, I'd say, with cards. He's got to make a statement here on Raphael, because this is a fight that can get out of hand. I've seen it change uh, a lot of leads, like even more than the cave sometimes. Just because Raphael's cursor speed is pretty good, and he still will just prioritize clears over uh, doing chains. So, he's more likely to have less panels on his screen, and you gotta send more decisive things, which it looks like uh, Tay did a good job of doing. But even then, look, he had three rows of panels still left, wasn't enough, and Raphael's going to troll a little bit more here. Looking pretty good for a force kill here on uh, Raphael. He might want to drop this combo, though. Unfortunately, he finds the clear with the blue because he didn't quite send just enough, just in time. But he's still going to get a nice 39 here. I'm moving on to the cave about a 610. It's not bad. Yeah, this is much better pace than uh, last race, at least. So He's got to go hope for a good cave here because if Cards looks to repeat what he did last time, Tay's going to need at least like probably a 25-second average right now. But here he goes. He has a pretty decent start, but Hookbill's going to have a low amount of panels. Was this chain decisive enough here at the end? There are going to be no clears available for Hookbill. Is this going to be enough? He's got to drop his chain just in time. Beautiful there. Oh, nice. Beautiful, Tay. Beautiful. And that... It's always nice to, it's always nice to kind of m m be wary of uh, your opponent's screen, almost like you're playing Pokemon Puzzle League. And just making sure that you can you can crush kill them. For sure, that's how you adjust to the RNG in this case. Is, so that's going to keep him in his race. As you can see on card screen, he's still on Naval himself. So we got a pretty close ball game right now. And Naval has a lot of panels on his screen. So a little bit more of a troll for cards. Look at this, a 7 chain coming in from Naval. Still looking for clears, might troll this out a little bit more, and that's going to switch the lead right now. Tame Man takes out Naval in 24 seconds. This cave giving cards a little bit of trouble right now. Tay looking to maybe make, take an upset win here. Yeah, Tay, albeit very slight, he has managed to uh, take the lead back from cards. So we'll see if he can keep it a card more here. Yeah, and this is huge for him to be honest because if he manages to win this game, that's another race potentially he can add to his overall average for wildcard too. So, you know, playing well today, if you can pull off those nine minute times, get that extra race under your belt, this is crucial for Tay. So he definitely wants to win this next race. But it's going to be uh, kind of hard when have a force kill. Yeah, he gets that yeah. force kill there on Kamek, takes the lead right back. Tay needs to find this follow-up quick. Kamek's still getting clears, though, but this should probably kill now. Very nice. Oh, we've, we, they're about 10 seconds apart. Uh, if if Tay can manage to get a quick Bowser and, and Karts gets trolled a bit, he could have his game. He definitely has the potential. Yeah, this is crucial right now, but Cards has a very textbook start here at the beginning. The four chain with a lot of smaller uh, combos. Bowser needs to continue this chain for Tay's sake. What does Tay got on his screen? He's, he's starting up something. Yeah, he's playing with two tall stacks on the left and right, so he's slowly running out of stop time there. You gotta watch out on Bowser's screen. On cards, though, he's got that tall stack at the bottom. Gets two clears, though. This could be good for Tay. I don't know. Bowser's gotta scroll down, though. And he's not gonna be able to get there. And Arts is gonna be taking this match 2-0 with a nice 934 on Bowser. Definitely nice to see some, uh, some sub-10 times. Consistent sub-10 times from Arts. Uh, Tay looking pretty good with a 956 of his own. So not too bad. Not, not too bad for Tay. 
both racers finishing with sub 10. But yeah, GG to both runners. Uh, congrats to Cards, of course, for the win. Uh, he will be taking the 4 0 for Group B. Yeah, for sure. Cards, uh, even though he had some trolls here and there, the man showed why he was consistent, still had sub 10 times for each of those fights. And that's why he took this match right now. So GG's to him. We'll flash over the bracket right now. And as you can see, Cards sitting pretty on top. He already clinched his spot today, but now he's going to make his mark on the group, defeating everybody one time. 4-0, he's probably he's going to be the second overall seed when it comes to brackets. So it's going to be looking good for him.